Good afternoon. Just wanted to share with you how we increased our battery bank from a 551.2 volt, 100 amp hour, 5120 watt hour. We had this one originally and we just added this one from Signature Solar and we have these done in parallel right there, negative to negative, positive to positive. And then we have this positive one on the bottom battery and the negative on the top battery. We run that through a uh, two watt cable. It's like a welding cable, very, very flexible. And it's going through a one Anderson 175 amp cable, quick disconnect. And then we run it right into our bus bar and up through our fuse. So when we only had this battery by itself, we could not start our three and a half or four ton or our pool heater. But down here with these eight AGM batteries, 248 volt battery banks in series, I'm sorry, um, the 12 volts in series for 48 volts, 12 volt in series for 48, and those 248s in parallel, we were able to start all three of them. The three and a half ton heat pump, the four ton heat pump, and the 12.7 ton heat pump pool heater. But couldn't do it with just one of these batteries. But we're able to do it with two of these batteries. So we know that you need at least two batteries to start like a three and a half ton um, heat pump. Now, I've been able to start everything off of this, and I have not I, I actually was able to run my three and a half ton on the six kilowatt this is a 12 kilowatt grow watt low frequency six kilowatt low um, grow watt low frequency um, I was actually able to put a soft start on my three and a half ton and I can run it on either one of these whichever one they're wired into um, but they're hardwired this one 12 kilowatt grow watt goes into this 200 amp panel and this 6 kilowatt grow watt is hardwired into this one this 200 amp panel and uh, both of the air conditioners are on this one now right now I use this for this one up here and then I um, plug things in I have plug over here and a plug over there that's actually a mini split. No, that's my pool filter running right now. And then I have my pool heater. Uh, the, uh, I'm sorry, mini split AC in the living room running on that. But this EG4 battery was the one that I bought that was refurbished. I can't even tell. There's no markings on it. It was shipped in the original box. And uh, it was on a pallet. So, um, I like it. Up down the road, might get one more of them. But right now, we ran the air conditioner overnight using these two batteries and running that three and a half ton. Um, now, it will, when it goes to start this up, it will give me a fault code on the first try, sometimes, not always, but sometimes. Um, and it'll be a fault code four, and this will light up, and then it'll take a few seconds, maybe five, six seconds, the uh, fault code will come off, and then the next time it starts up, it will start up, and it'll go from like 56 um, volts down to like 54 to 55 when it starts it up. Now, when I use those AGMs down there, and this will go from 56 to down to like 51 volts when it first starts it up with those inrush amps. And then it quickly goes right back up to 56. So, but last night was the first night we ran these with the air conditioner. The whole house upstairs, three and a half ton heat pump air conditioner. And it was at 100% when we started at 6 o'clock and at 5 o'clock in the morning... We're at 72% um, is what it was showing 
on this screen right here and we uh, took about three three and a half hours on a really cloudy day this morning it took three three and a half hours to charge this back up to a hundred percent so we were able to at like 8 8 30 be able at a hundred percent on these two batteries and be able to start air conditioning our upstairs again and super cool that upstairs so right now it is um noon noon and i believe we're like at 65 66 degrees upstairs so we're just going to keep that right around 63 64 till about five six o'clock and then we'll raise that temperature up to 72 or 74 degrees and then this will just run that main three and a half ton air conditioner overnight no problem so and this system over here is four lithium iron phosphate batteries they're 12 volt each four in series and that gives eight kilowatt and this is 10 kilowatt over here a little over it's like 10.2 10.24 kilowatt hours um so this definitely is going to run us on our main air conditioner upstairs and then if i wanted to i could run the two 12,000 BTU mini splits downstairs overnight in the summertime so I won't have to use my grid this year for the overnight AC so they had a really good deal on me there's hardly anything left in stock I mean the batteries they have right now are like 1750 bucks and that's like 250 or higher for the shipping but there's no tax on it so I didn't pay any tax on it. Um, the nice thing about buying from somewhere like Signature Solar or Santan Solar is they don't charge you a tax. If you buy it off of eBay or Amazon, they're going to charge you a tax. So, big difference. That's why I buy a lot of my tools and stuff off of eBay or Amazon if I need it next day delivery or same day. But when it comes to a lot of the big components, save a lot of money. You know, if, if you're going to drop two grand on this thing at 8% sales tax, that's $320 you save in tax. So, um, just want to let you know, like this, um, it's going to be nice being able to run our main air conditioner overnight upstairs while we're sleeping off of the battery. And we can go down to 20% on these. And I believe that is like 44 volts. And we start out at 50. Oh, God, I think it's like, uh, yeah, it's like 54 volts we'll start out at and uh, drop down to 44. So those AGMs aren't going to get me through the night. They're great during the day. I've been using these for three and a half years and they still hold a full charge. Because I don't run them down overnight. I, I get done using these during the day. And they're completely fully charged. Before we go into night. And I got. Two banks of those AGMs. But you know. Three and a half years I still have a full. State of charge on those things. When I get up in the morning. And flip on the inverters. So. Um, this inverter. Runs. Off of these four 12 volt AGM or um, lithium iron phosphate batteries, and those run the freezers, the freezer fridge, three freezers, and a freezer fridge and lights outside. And then I run a fan as well, uh, exhaust fan. And now this one's going to run my upstairs AC. I could run my three and a half ton AC, or I could run like two of these mini splits two ones in one bedroom and one's in the master bedroom and the mini splits are going to use two of them will use about the same as the whole house so i might as well use the whole house but just want to let you know that you're never probably going to be able to get one of these batteries to start up a three and a half ton even with a soft start getting it down to 18 to 24 inrush amps 
still doesn't want to do it. But with two of them, not a problem. So, hope that helps. Please like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And we'll see you in the next video. Hope you have a truly wonderful and extremely blessed day.